Our solar system consists of a total of nine planets. Over the episodes, and according to your votes, we will visit each of them as we progressed with our goals. Our logbook, the Messier Catalog, which is filled in as we go through the episodes, today will give birth to a new row, that of our own solar system. Today, we are heading towards the most mysterious planet of all, the beautiful Saturn. Together, we've traveled a total of 21 million light years during episode 1, and 2,283 light years in episode 2. In this third episode, let's get closer to Earth and discover a planet that is only 746 million miles away. For episode one, we went to a huge nebula, uh, a huge galaxy. For episode two, we went to a tiny nebula. For episode three now, we're going to fly to a planet. Today we are not in our usual location of Nelson's Landing. We're at my friend Janae's house. And uh, usually we do photograph and film and any deep space objects. But today's going to be a little bit harder because we're going to be focusing on a planet, which we have to you know, work very hard on keeping track of. A planet is very different than uh, nebulas or galaxies because we don't take pictures, we just tag them afterwards. We have to take a video of it. And the editing process is very, very different. So today's uh, target is not Jupiter, it's not Mars, it's not Pluto. It is... Saturn. Saturn, uh, Saturn is the uh, second biggest planet in our solar system right after Jupiter. And for many people, I think it's the most beautiful one because of its amazing rings. And today we've already prepared the telescope. And uh, instead of just pointing it directly to Saturn and, and the episode, we're just going to take it step by step as if we're traveling there. So we'll do the camera first, like this one right there. And we'll change the lens to see if we can, uh, how close we can get to Saturn with this tiny camera. Saturn's rings are just magnificent. The shape of the rings are sculpted by two of the planet's moons. Prometheus is one of the moons and only 53 miles or 86 kilometers across and shapes the rings through repeated gravitational nudges and sometimes even enters the ring itself. The gap you see between the rings is called the Cassini Division, and hopefully we'll also be able to see it in our photo. Okay, so here, this dot is Saturn at 75mm on my uh, lens. Let's zoom up to 300 to see if we can see any details right now. I'm zooming right now. Oh, that's my maximum zoom on this big lens. And you see, we can't really see anything. So obviously we need to use the, uh, the telescope to see anything. It very much is just still a big dot in the sky. Yeah. We thought we couldn't distinguish anything. But seeing the video from our computer screen and zooming in as far as you can, you are able to see Saturn. Its form is more like a simple star, although very blurred. We can make out the rings around it. I want to say, I'm looking at space. Yeah, okay. What's your name? Do you want to tell us what your name is? My name's Mackie. This is my friend Janae's daughter. And what are we going to do today? Look at space! Do you know what planet we're looking at today? Uh, 
We're looking at Saturn today. We're gonna look at Saturn. It's the first time she's gonna see Saturn with her own eyes. Do you know how many planets there is? Um. No? There's nine. Nine planets. And this one, do you know what Saturn is? A planet? Do you know which one it is? Do you know why it's famous? Because of the rings. Do you know the rings? You will see. <laughs> we'll see you today. We're going to teach you about space. Okay. Right, perfect. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's get started. All right, let's go your mom. Bring your step stool over. It's really small, okay? It's super, super small right now. We're gonna make it bigger every time you see it. It's super, super small, but you can see this is a ring. Oop, you got it? Oop. <laughs> there you go. She's a big girl. Because the reason why Saturn is famous is because there's like huge rings around it. There you go, you can put it down if you want. The moments before Mackie actually saw Saturn were stressful. We could not find a step stool tall enough for her to reach the eyepiece. But she surprised us by her own effort. We were so excited. We never thought we'd be able to show someone so young anything about space. This is one of our favorite moments on Galactic Hunter, and we'll hope for more opportunities like this. Um, let me think. Maybe I could put like, like some books on it? Yeah. yeah, I just don't want it to be like unleveled yeah. for her that she might fall over. Yeah. If you'd yeah. like, yeah. Oh, you see it? it? Yeah. All right, we're just going to switch the yeah, chairs, switch chairs so you can see better. There you go. Because this one's kind of bigger. All right, look at it. All right, and then try not to touch it, okay? Yep. You see the rings, and there's some moons around it, too. Because Saturn has 60, 63 moons. Doesn't that sound crazy? How many moons does the Earth have? Uh, one. Yeah, Yay! Planet. Good job! This planet has 63. Can you 63? Yeah. yeah. And you can can see, you like, imagine? Four around it right now. What if there were 63 moons here? That would be really crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to take a look at it? Do you take a look, Mommy? Oh, okay, thank you. The sun is prepared. The sun is mm -hmm. prepared. Mm -hmm. Like one eye, mommy. Wow. See, it's super tiny right now. Yeah, but you can still see. Yeah, it's always crazy. That's so cool. Oh. Did Rick want to take a look at it all? I think it's... I can't see it very good because it's kind of too tiny. Oh, yeah, it's super small. Oh, it looks so cool. Yeah, it's the with this one. We're going to go to the big moon. Do you see how small it is now? We're going to make it even bigger so you can see it even better. I can see it. The bigger one is going to be on the... Uh, I do want to take a look. Be careful, okay? I don't want you to fall off this chair, okay? I'm not. Whoa! See, it looks like an eyeball. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. If you see right next to it on the side, there's a little white dot. That's one of the moons. No, I actually see two. Yeah, there's two. I think right now. Three mm -hmm. on them. Isn't that crazy? Mm hmm. It looks like an eyeball. He's going to try to find it. Ooh. Look, it's bigger than right <gasps> What? Jenny, look. Is that big? It's not moving. You see it? I, I see it moving. Oh How can it move? Ah, Creepy. Crash on it. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike galaxies and nebulae, planets can actually be seen from anywhere in the world, even from a very light polluted area. Have you ever wondered why stars twinkle? 
that's because of the turbulence in the atmosphere. For photographing planets, we call that the seeing. Our seeing level for this night was 3 out of 5. As you can see in this example of Jupiter, seeing can really destroy your view. The better the seeing, the crisper the planet. The beautiful Saturn, viewed live from the camera screen. Notice how we cannot see the Cassini division. We decided to take a few photos of the planet before taking the camera off, just in case the photos would yield better results than editing this very video. Do you like it? This is crazy, yeah. I think it could get even bigger. Okay. Even yeah? bigger? We're gonna do it one more bigger See? now, so we can get even closer. Here, I'll help you. I got it. I got it. Be careful with your toes. Ooh, I like blonde cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I close one eye because I can't see it when I have two eyes open. Yeah. Very good. That's how you use the telescope. Um, I'm going to have to focus on it first. Okay? Oops. Mommy. <laughs> I just want to capture the moment. <laughs> Let me be a mother. <laughs> All oh, right. Oh, she looks so cute. Can you still see the moons on the side? Or can you just see one big Saturn? I can see one moon at the side. Ooh. Take a look, Dahlia. I will take a look. Thank you. Let's see. Whoa. I do see the one big moon too. It looks so crazy. Do you like the one big ring that's there? Yeah. Moon Hello, right now Daddy. for you guys. You want to tell about the one moon you can see? Hey, at Saturn, I could see one big moon and a one tiny moon. After cool. using the last big planetary eyepiece, we were done with Saturn, but the night did not end there. Seeing how Mackie enjoyed looking at the outer space bodies, we stayed a little longer and showed her the craters of the moon, as well as our neighbor Mars. Okay, so we're done. Um, it was very incredible to watch Saturn with a super young person right here. <laughs> she, I think she enjoyed it, and we as well. So we're gonna go home right now and see what we can do with the pictures, I mean with the with a video <laughs> and hopefully it comes really good. Awesome. Did you enjoy looking at Saturn today, Mac? And did you see Mars too? We took a little extra time to look at some other stuff. You might want to do this again with us sometime? So what did awesome. you think? What did you think about Saturn? Glow. Glow? Look cool. 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 <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, do you remember what's the biggest planet in the solar system? Um, what, the sun? The planet, the biggest planet. What uh, is it? Jupiter. Jupiter. Yeah, you're so good. And then the second one is? Uh, the one we just saw. Saturn. Saturn. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, so let's say goodbye. Bye, everybody. And Thanks for watching. Yep. Bye. We stargazed until it was time for her to go to bed and let her memories fill her dreams with stars. I'm looking at space. Yeah. If you'd like. Yay! Good job! Look at space! Will you choose the Swan Nebula? Messier 17 
is one of the most massive and brightest nebulae in our galaxy. A cluster of 35 young stars light up its gas, and each star is 20 to 30 times the mass of our Sun. The Swan Nebula is a total mass of 800 times that of our Sun. M31, or the Andromeda Galaxy, is by far the most famous galaxy due to its proximity to ours and its impressive apparent size. Andromeda was my first ever galaxy photographed. At the time, I didn't even have a telescope. By choosing this target, the progress between the first photograph and now with a telescope will be extremely evident and awe inspiring. Like the Earth, the planets in the solar system are constantly orbiting our Sun. You've probably already seen several of them when you look up into the night sky, but do not realize what they actually are. By getting closer to one of the bright stars, we may discover that it is actually a planet. So as we said earlier, uh, we didn't have the right gear for the planet, so we'll go over our, like our whole gear in episode uh, of series number two, which is after number, uh, episode four. So um, we are missing actually two pieces of equipment for planetary imaging, but um, we'll see next time, yeah. Uh, we tried to do what we could for this video, but uh, it turns out just just uh, editing a simple photo was enough to get the better results. So here is Saturn, um, our final image. If we zoom, we can see some detail, but also our goal, which was uh, the Cassini division, can be seen here. Um, it's very, very blurry still. Um, that's because once again, we don't have the right gear, but um, we'll try our best um, once we have a better gear to redo the target and update our website on it. That's the end of Galactic Hunter episode 3. We really hope that you enjoyed looking at Saturn just like our little apprentice. And if you'd like to see more of our stuff, go onto our website at www.galactic-hunter.com. Um, if you want to see the um, importance of the seeing level, uh, you can go on the Messier catalog and on the bottom you see the planets. and go to Saturn and you will see a picture of uh, this week's Saturn but also the one from last month that we took and like I think last last week or something so you will see actually like three or four different Saturns and you will see how different um, the seeing levels are per night so that's how we finished the episode today we'll see you next time uh, don't forget to vote for either M31 which is a huge Andromeda or um, M17 Alright, see you next time.